Welcome, dear viewers, to another informative video that promises to add value to your life. Today we're diving into a unique business opportunity that combines passion and profit, starting a pet sitting and doggy daycare business. Imagine earning a substantial income all while enjoying the company of our furry friends. It's not just about the income, it's about the flexibility it offers, allowing you to manage your time and be your own boss. Stay tuned as we unfold the step-by-step -step process of starting your very own pet sitting business. To embark on this entrepreneurial journey, the first step is self-assessment. Now, you might be wondering, why is self-assessment necessary? Well, understanding your own pet handling capabilities is crucial in establishing a successful pet sitting or doggy daycare business. You have to ask yourself, do you genuinely love animals? It's not enough to simply like them. You must have a deep affection and respect for these creatures. This job requires more than just providing food and water. It's about addressing their emotional needs, understanding their behavior, and ensuring their overall well-being. Moreover, patience is key. Pets can be unpredictable and sometimes even a little difficult. Being patient and calm even in the most challenging situations is a trait that you must possess. And let's not forget, a basic understanding of pet care is a must. Are you familiar with the dietary needs of different pets? Do you know how to administer medication if needed? Once you've confirmed your pet handling skills, it's time to dive into the business aspect. Every successful business starts with a well-thought-out plan. When it comes to pet sitting and doggy daycare, it's no different. A comprehensive business plan is your roadmap to success. It outlines your services, pricing structure, and marketing strategies. It answers questions like, what kind of pets will you cater to? Will you offer overnight stays, daycare, or both? How will you price your services to be competitive yet profitable? This plan acts as your blueprint, guiding your decisions and helping you maintain focus as you navigate the exciting world of pet care entrepreneurship. Now let's talk about each component. Services could range from basic pet sitting to specialized care for exotic animals. Pricing is a delicate balance. It's about understanding your costs, knowing your market, and setting rates that reflect the value you provide. Remember, it's not just about being the cheapest option. It's about delivering a service that pet parents feel is worth every penny. Marketing strategies pave the way to get your name out there. It could be through word of mouth, social media, or local advertising. The key is to identify your target audience and tailor your messages to resonate with them. Next, we have legalities. The pet care industry, like any other, has regulations that you need to comply with. Research local laws regarding pet care businesses. This could involve zoning laws for a home-based business, health and safety regulations, or specific licenses and permits required to operate legally. You also need to consider insurance. This protects you and your business from potential liabilities such as accidents or property damage. The legalities may seem daunting, but they're crucial to your business's longevity and reputation. It's worth investing time and resources to ensure you're on the right side of the law. Consult with a professional if needed to help you navigate this aspect. With your business plan in place and legalities sorted, you're ready to move to the next step. This step will take you closer to the goal of turning your love for animals into a profitable business. So, are you ready to take the leap? The heart of your business lies in the space you provide and the services you offer. A pet sitting business is not just about love for animals. It is also about providing a safe, comfortable space that feels like a second home to the pets you'll be caring for. It's crucial to consider the space you have at your disposal. Is it indoor, outdoor, or a combination of both? Remember the space needs to be secure, clean, and free of any potential hazards. Think safety first but also strive to create an environment that is fun and stimulating. You might consider adding toys, play structures, and comfortable resting places. Equally important is the temperature and ventilation of your space. You wouldn't want the pets to be in a stuffy or overly cold area. Ensuring the right temperature and fresh air can make a world of difference to a pet's comfort level. Now let's shift gears and talk about the services you could offer. Pet sitting isn't just about watching over an animal. You can branch out into various services like dog walking, overnight care, and even grooming. Dog walking is a great service to offer as it's beneficial for the pet's health, and it gives them an opportunity to socialize. Overnight care is another service that is often in high demand. Many pet owners need someone reliable to take care of their pets while they're away. 
Offering this service can be a significant income stream for your business. Grooming is another service you might consider. It's a convenience for many pet owners to have their pets groomed at the same place they're being cared for. However, this would require you to learn or hire someone with grooming skills. In essence, the more services you offer, the more appealing your business becomes to potential clients. It's all about meeting the needs of the pet and their owner and making their life easier. With your space ready and services outlined, you're almost set to start your business. Now it's time to let the world know about your pet sitting business. The heart of your marketing strategy should be a professional website. It's your business's digital storefront, a place where potential clients can learn about your services, rates, and read testimonials. Next, establish a strong social media presence. Platforms like Instagram and Facebook are perfect for showcasing adorable pet photos and happy clients. Regular posts, engaging content, and responding to comments can help build a loyal follower base. But don't forget about the power of local networks. Join pet communities, attend pet-related events, and partner with local pet stores or vet clinics. Word of mouth is a powerful tool, and satisfied customers can become your best brand ambassadors. Finally, consider online listings and pet sitting platforms. They can increase your visibility and help you reach a wider audience. By effectively marketing your business, you're ready to welcome your first clients. And there you have it, a complete guide to starting a pet sitting and doggy daycare business. We've covered everything from assessing your pet handling skills to business planning and legalities, setting up your space and services, and finally, marketing your business. Each step is crucial in building a successful venture. Don't forget to like, follow, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. Thank you for watching, and best of luck with your pet sitting business.